coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. This is Coin Snoop with Coin Op, and I've got a cool story to share with you about some old coins from the Philippines. But before we continue, just a quick heads up. Robert is taking a little break for some much needed medical recovery. He's been dealing with some health stuff and is focusing on getting better. But he'll be back before you know it. Your good vibes and understanding mean a lot. So thank you for that. Stay tuned for updates. Now, let's dive into the world of the 1944 and 1945 50 cent US Philippines territorial coin. Back in 1944, and the Philippines was under the US administration. It's the year when the Allied forces start the Operation Musketeer, the campaign that will liberate the Philippines from Japanese control. It was a momentous time, and these coins were part of the ongoing coinage during that time and became part of that history. Ambrosio Morales and Charles Barber were the artists behind that compelling obverse design, while Melesio Figueroa crafted the enchanting reverse design that won the Philippine peso coinage system in 1903 and was featured in Philippine coinage until the 1960s. On the obverse you see the official coat of arms of the Commonwealth of the Philippines, a clear United States of America inscription, the year, and a little mint mark to tell you where it was made. Now, on the reverse you will see a charming figure of a young woman, standing proud in a flowing gown, clutching a hammer on an anvil set against the majestic backdrop of Mayan Volcano. Right above her, you see the coins valued, and below, the name of the archipelago in Spanish, Philippines. These coins were made of 75% silver and 15% copper weighing about 10 grams. They had a diameter of around 27.5 mm and a thickness of 2 mm, with those distinctive reeded edges. These coins were produced in relatively large quantities for circulation. In 1944, approximately 19,187,000 of these 50 centavos coins were minted, and in 1945, around 18,120,000 were minted. These coins were exclusively minted at the San Francisco Mint. There are two types of this 1944 series. Type 1 has strong grooves on the anvil and the side of the majestic Mayan volcano called vertical striations, giving it an almost textured appearance. In contrast, Type 2 has a smoother design. But wait, there's a twist. In 1945, they accidentally struck some of these coins with a doubled S mint mark. They called it the 1945 S over S variety, and it's like a hidden treasure hunt. You have to look closely at that mint mark to spot the over mint mark error. It's like the cherry on top of a sundae for coin collectors. Now, the big question, where can you find these pieces of history? Well. They are definitely not in your pocket change, even if you're living in the Philippines. They have long been demonetized, but you might discover them in antique shops, coin shows, or online marketplaces specializing in collectibles. To get your hands on one, you need a bit of luck and some patience. It's like a treasure hunt for sure. If you're thinking about adding one of these coins to your collection, it's good to know what to expect in terms of price. The 1944 and 1945 50 centavos coins typically range from $20 to $400, depending on their condition and grade. Coins in grades 50 to 66 fall within this price range, and the finer grade can be worth around $1,000 like this 1945 50 centavos PCGS graded MS67, sold for $990 by Heritage Auctions last April 2020-23. And the 1945 S over S variety we mentioned earlier, the doubled S mint mark. Well, one of those was sold for $600 by Heritage Auctions just last November 2022. It was graded in MS64 by the American Numismatic Association Certification Service. This particular variety, 
with its unique mint Aaron can command even higher prices due to its rarity and collector demand. So, whether you're looking for a more affordable addition to your collection or you're up for the challenge of finding a prize 1945 S over S variety, these coins offer something for both budget conscious collectors and serious numismatic enthusiasts. Before we end this video here is a fun tidbit for you. Before the adolescent lady graced the reverse of this coins, she was depicted as Lady Liberty from 1903 to 1912. It's like a little slice of art and history in your hands. So there you have it. The remarkable story of the 1944 and 1945 Philippines 50 centavos coins. They are not just bits of metal. They are a window into a pivotal time in US and Philippine history and a thrilling journey for collectors. So, next time you stumble upon one of these old 50 centavos coins, whether it's a 1944, 1945, or the 1945 S over S variety, remember the story they tell. They are a glimpse into a bygone era. If there's a coin variety you want to feature in our future videos, comment down below and tell us how you rate this video from low 1 to high 10. If you like this video hit the thumbs up. We found that there are still people who watch our videos but are not yet subscribers. We'd really love for you to subscribe and join our coin community. Well, there you have it. Take care and have a wonderful week. Thank you for your love and support. See you in the next video. Good luck and happy hunting.